Welcome back to Trailblazer PVM Edition and Episode 3 is all about the Gauntlets, the Corrupted Gauntlets. This is actually one of the most structurally important bosses I have to do in order to advance this account in PVM department. Uh, mainly because of the Crystal Bow, that's my best long term ranged weapon that I can get and it's going to be 2 ticks because of the ranged relic. It will basically dominate almost all the bosses on my list. And of course, we can get crystal armor at the gauntlet as well to support the bow. And the blade of Saldor, my best melee weapon for leaks. Lots of insane stuff at gauntlet. It's basically the game changer for me. So we got to get there. But a few things to do before we get there. Uh, I want to get base 30 so we can get more points and tasks done. So that I can unlock the you know actual region of Privdenis. And also unlock my fourth relic we also have to keep up with the relics because eventually we definitely want that tier six but yeah fourth relic's nice because we get the passive 12x xp which you know moves everything along and if you're looking forward to more pvm progress for this series definitely give the video a like anyways enjoy today's video man it's not bad move it's pretty nasty though oh nice room battle axe <laughs> that's money gotta do this late in the day Easy, easy. Lizard Demon task complete. Easiest points. Two tasks in one, man. You gotta love that. You gotta love that. Oh, I got it. Yay. Awesome. Right before the night's over. I forgot to uh, actually do these tasks. Only remember to get this because uh, there's a task with that as well. <laughs> nice. Um, Alright, so I just mined some Volcanic Ash. Luckily, Fossil Island is already unlocked, so this is so easy. We can just make some Ultra Compost. You definitely want to Ultra Compost these trees, unless you're going to go out of your way to pay protection. It's so worth it, man. So free. Okay, that's a task. This is the last task I need to do. Because... Okay, this thing is behind. Because I did two tasks. It should let me unlock it already but yeah it's it's pretty glitchy though ah there it is see i can unlock it we're gonna be so stinking rich if we can complete godly successfully we're gonna be stinking rich oh boy room crafting with uh, last recall relic man now that's gonna be dice ha <laughs> base 10 we're gonna go from base 10 to 20 and 30 immediately there we go base 30s on everything nice all right i waited until this moment to uh, work on tears of gothics because the xp rates you get is boosted a lot more once you have base 30 so now let's do some tiers and see what we get all right first tiers we've waited a few days for this holy crap that was awesome that was fat man that was very fat all right i'm just gonna have to believe that the uh Extra experience, you know, pull through from base 30s. I blasted through so many different uh, tasks that I didn't realize I was already like 100 points above. This passive effect is just too good to pass up. 8x to 12x, dude. Hell yeah, I mean, a natural selection just in case, you know, I don't want to mess this up. Yeah, screw clue scrolls. We're going to go with a natural selection. So when I do Slayer in the future, I won't get shitty vampire tasks. I will get tasks that is what I want. So it's going to be really nice. One big detail that I want to do. Wow, 3.4k XP. It was 2,000 before the uh, the passive. But yo, 45 prayer, Mystic Might. Really important here because, uh, yeah, we want to be able to have our best chance at killing Hunlift. So Mystic Might is definitely worth investment. So we have all the best offensive prayers that I can get since these are not available in this league. So, All right, one thing to mention. We still don't have that gauntlet pet on the main account, so uh, I kind of hope I don't get it on here. Kind of hope I don't get it on here, man. But if it happens, at least it doesn't, you know, disappear into nothingness, so it's not the worst thing ever. So here's the basic idea I'm gonna do my gauntlet with. So my range is obviously my best thing because of my range relic. So we're gonna be maining the bow, but then a close second is gonna be the staff because the staff should still be able to hit very hard regardless of you know my uh magic level and all that it should still hit insanely hard so 
Melee, probably terrible. So we're not gonna ever go for melee. Just gonna go with bow and staff all the time. And in terms of armor, I'm not sure yet. I think tier 1 is a good start. And then if it's not adequate, we'll, uh, I'll try and see if I can do tier 2. Tier 2 runs, so... This should hopefully go well. If this goes really, really well, then it's safe to say that um, Corrupted shouldn't be too, too bad, I guess. But yeah, let's go. And how much do I heal anyways? Oh, 17. Damn. Prayer pods don't heal that much. So I I'm think I'm going to go for like three. Three uh, potions at least. <clears throat> oh, nice. Okay, that was great. Um... Still had a lot of food left, so that's really good. That is very good, very good sign. Oh my god, the money, 50k, even on a regular, man, guys, even a regular nets you so much money. Wow, I totally forgot even the regular is good, wow. Okay, now we are gonna do some corrupted. Okay, here we go, first corrupted attempt. We're gonna go again for tier one armor. And always bowling staff. So, here we go. I'm just gonna pretend I'm doing it on my main. Kinda. But, gotta get used to the nuances of low HP and low prayer. Cause, yeah, the tornadoes, man. If they if it doesn't scale, then uh, if I mess up tornadoes at the end. And, I, you know, all four hits me. I'm pretty much... I'm gonna get one shot, like, no matter what. So, we'll see. We'll see. I'm just gonna have to play it super careful. Okay, Dark Beast, really good. That's what we want. We want to find a Dark Beast at the start or a Dragon at the start. Preferably Dark Beast. I normally get 220 shards at the start of most gauntlets because I can get tier 1 armor and 2 potions and a tier 2 weapon pretty easily. Now, I have to change this a little bit for this run for sure because my prayer is really low and I just don't recover that much prayer. So, I'm going to have to make 3 potions. So, I'm going to have to go for 230 shards to compensate. Okay, uh, right, two full potions, which is not something I normally have, so, and more food, a lot more food than usual, so, let's go. 37, oh my god, I can still hit a 37 with the staff. <sighs> Yo, that's awesome, dude, 69, dude, let me see if I can hit the max. The max is, uh, 39 normally, so let me see if I can still hit that, because, man... The staff got... It's so good. Now I can show you guys. I can prove to you guys. Even with shit stats the, and, and shit prayer. The staff can still be insanely OP. Holy crap, dude. This is so scary. But you can literally two take walk. Oh, damn. We got it. First kill. That was real. Honestly, that was really chill. Damn, three minute Hunlif kill. That's insane, dude. I'm killing Hunlif as fast as I kill it normally. Holy ball sack. That's amazing, dude. Oh, yeah, boys. We got it. All right. Forget the black cape. We're just going to wear this for a bit until uh, fire cape, I guess. Uh, I'm going to use this for range. And the first chest, we made so much goddamn money, dude. Look at this. I'm rich. I am so rich, dude. This is insane. Oh, nice. We went from poverty to instant, like, hundred thousands. We're going to be making millions tonight, dude. We're making millions. But yeah, I made a lot of mistakes that run. I was uh, being dumb. Oh, crystal weapon seed already. Yes. Second run. Hell yeah. Nice, nice. Time's a bit close on the prep, but you know, I'm playing as safe as I can. Trying to like full inventory food and all. Oof. Damn, dude. Pretty soon we'll have enough money to charge this crystal bow. No problem. I don't want to use shards to charge it because... um. You know, inevitably, I will go for the blade. Ooh, Dragon Halley, dude. This is fat. Look at this Alk. Oh, yeah. 140k. I can definitely see Mare in just resetting if I don't find a boss early on. Because, honestly, it's coming. It's getting close, you know. This is this is cutting it close. I probably don't have to, though. Because this is probably one of the worst RNG runs. And I still have, like, a minute left. But if you're having trouble making the time... You might want to consider resetting if you don't find a dragon or like a dark beast on your first loop. Oh, dude, all this passive XP, it's so nice, yo. With all the crazy multipliers, even even the bits and pieces from the Corrupted Gauntlet is absolutely nice. 
Oh, I hit a 39. Okay, so yeah, it looks like the staff uh, max hit stays. You know, your magic level doesn't matter. Because we just hit the max that you can hit no matter what. Even in the main game, that is like the max. So that's awesome, dude. Yeah, the staff is all freaking awesome too. Even though I don't have any perks for it. It doesn't need it because it's just so good. Holy shit. Oh my god. You can trail the, the tornado so close. That was probably my best nearing. Oh, I'm dead. Oof, monka. Oh, I'm dead. No. <laughs> it was a PB run. Come on. Oh, wait. That's a task? Oh, sub 8 minutes. Oh, nice. That's a task. Complete one in under uh, 8.30. Cool. Already? There's a stupid fast one. That's like under 5 minutes, but it it'll be a while. Once we get better stats, we can try to attempt some of those crazy uh, tasks for points and whatnot. Anyways, I got enough for the crystal bow now. So it's time to go and get ourselves the beautiful, beautiful crystal bow. Alright, Elfine. It's time to turn one of these seats into the crystal bow. How much for the bow? 900,000. Yeah, the first time is 900,000. Oof. I was rich, and I can I can get some more money. But yeah, 2,500 charges, but with 90% save rate, it's like, I don't even know, insane amount more charges. But yeah, we got ourselves a 2-tick crystal bow now. And future repairs, if I ever get to the repairs, will be a lot cheaper. So, But yeah, let me... Oh, I can't even wear it yet. Because I need 50 agility. <laughs> I can easily get that, but wow. Nice, that's going to be our main weapon. I can't wait to show you guys. Because it's so fast. Wow, that hunt of kill time though was great. Yeah, 226. Oh, damn, dude. Yo. If I can get the armor seeds as fast as I can get these uh, crystal weapon seeds, dude. Uh, that'd be great. That's a lot of uh, a lot of seeds, man. A lot of seeds. Yo, yo. Okay, this out. I'm going to get my first one mil. Yeah. Nice, guys. Alright, let's do it. Good luck. We're going in, in th with three minutes left. Oh, that was freaking hard. Oh my god. Oh, we did it. 724. Is that a task? It's not? Corrupt the gauntlet. Complete the gauntlet in five minutes. Complete the gauntlet in 830. Oh, dude, this one for seven minutes? Jeez, that's not, that's not, damn. That one is, uh, oh no. There's a seven minute one, okay. We can we can probably do that, but not today. Uh, I think with better stats, maybe. All right, we gotta focus on getting the next level relic though, to be honest with you. The fifth relic is huge. Because if we can get to this point, we get the passive effect here. Items from some sources will be 3x as common, which means stuff like the Blade of Saldor and the Crystal Armacy, you know, all those things, it's gonna be three times more common. So the Blade is one in 400, It'll be 1 in 133. And I got some really cool tasks I can do, such as Jad. It's time to get a fire cape anyways. So we can get like 700 points just off of uh, fight caves. So let's go ahead and do that. With well, the crystal bow, it should be pretty easy. Nice. We got some new uh, BISs from Gauntlet today. Overall, we got Rune Legs, Rune Plate Body, Rune Pickaxe, Rune Full Helmet. Nice. Hell yeah, dude. That's this can this some good stuff. Our melee setup's looking pretty okay, you know. Just need a blade of Saldor to really flex it up. Nice. Okay. We just hit uh, 60 crafting, so I can now do Uber houses. That's gonna be a nice upgrade for getting seeds and more hunter XP and stuff. We're almost to crystal imps though. It's really nice. Man, thank the gauntlet for all these uh, gems. You get so much craft XP, it's actually nuts. Holy shit, thank you gauntlet. Thank you very much gauntlet. With the boost, I'm able to now make power uh, amulet. Okay, alright, I, I couldn't resist. I had to go and get 50 agility. Taking a little bit from gauntlet to work on a little bit of other stuff. Hell yeah, 50 agility. Nice equip crystal bow, dude. Look at the stats, man. Just just look at that. 100 range accuracy and 2 tick speed. K 
can't be bothered having to go to Lumbridge every time to recharge my prayer. Like, this is seriously annoying, so. And I have plenty of runes now from Gauntlet. I can just keep teleporting back here for prayer. Ugh, it's gonna be so much nicer. Alright, it's time. I brought some tank stuff just for uh, the phases where the Rangers and the Majors are together. Just to uh, help reduce some damage, but other than that, I'm just crystal bowing everything, so. It's just like blowpipe, except I have stupidly long range. I almost forgot to get myself a Dazar task, so... Let's go ahead and do Jad, please. Thank you. Satisfying. Literally cutting enemies for years. Yeah, dude. I love the range of the crystal bow. It's so nice. I love this shit. It's so OP, dude. I can kite this guy like pretty much infinitely. Holy shit, dude. Look at my kiting power, bro. It's insane. Here's the majors. Let's see how we fare. Pretty good. <laughs> it's, I'm not really missing, so. Nice. 60 Slayer. Oh, that's awesome, man. Hell yeah. Okay, now I can actually kill Aberrant Spectres <laughs> for sure this time, you know? And I can actually pick as a Slayer task, too. Prayer pots won't be too big of an issue then. Oops. Yeah, I, I got this. Alright, should be fine. There we go. Easy. That was pretty fast, 40 minutes, but I was flicking pretty hard, but... Okay, we got our first cape. We're gonna keep this one until we, uh... We're gonna keep this one until we get the Inferno Cape, which is later on down the line. Without Ancient Magics, I think I probably need to prepare a bit more, you know, before the Inferno, so... Uh, next, next run, we will try to do the Tick Eat and sacrifice it for Inferno. Well, we're getting closer to unlocking the next relic. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you found this video to be enjoyable, consider giving it a like. We also have a friends chat. Feel free to join that if you want to hang out. And also, consider subscribing and ringing the bell. That way you will get all video notifications. And if you have Amazon Prime, feel free to subscribe on twitch.tv slash ricecup and you can financially support me for free through Amazon Prime. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys later.